I'm gonna go through what I have here. What I what I bring with me, my kit for ice fishing. I guess we'll start with these. I got my tip ups in here. These are the self setting tip ups. I bring four of them and I got one rod because in Massachusetts you can have five lines through the ice. So this right here is called the jaw jacker. It's a self setting device too. When the fish takes it, um, it releases the rod and it springs up and sets the hook. And I'll, I guess I can show you that on oh, this ice here. So I don't know if it's going to work, but when I pull this, it sets it like that. And I'll show you what what I have on here. I just have a small little size six hook, and I brought some. I got a fake worm on here. It's called Gulp Alive. It's the one inch like micro worm gulp alive and I, I've never used it before so I'm trying it now and to set it you just put there's a little loop here you just put this right here and then this goes like that and then you wrap this around here one time and let the whole thing just sink down and there it's all set to go and it folds up nice in a compact package and here's the gulp alive I got it inside these leak proof laboratory containers it just looks like this and that all fits inside this this um, lid, lid storage here in here I got like my sunglasses and I got hooks in here split shots my license survival knife. This is a good little survival knife. It's eight bucks on Amazon and it's got the paracord on it. It's got a fire starter in the case, all for like eight bucks. It's just a um, just a decent survival knife. It's fine. And on the other side let's see what we got in here. Oh I got hand warmers and toe warmers. These are awesome. They actually have iron pieces and some other materials in there that when they touch it uh, when they come in contact with oxygen they um, react and the byproduct product of the reaction is heat and they work good they keep my hands and feet warm so and I got these binoculars so you can have a tip up a little bit further away And this bucket here is for shiners. I didn't bring any shiners. I was just trying to jig and catch with the, the gulp alive. See what happens with that. But when I do have shiners, I use this bucket. And it's also a sink. And then I got my spoon, and that cleans the hole out when it fills with ice. And then I got the lip. auger 8 inch strike master in the sled it's just a jet sled regular size uh, that's pretty much everything there's a couple people out here I'm on Pratt Pond in Upton first time I ever been here it's about 15 feet it's deepest out in the middle there there's a little river over there and one on that side too I guess there's a lot of small pumpkin seeds and perch there's some maybe trout leftovers get stocked in the spring and there's bass and pickerel in here 